Hey, I'm Natalia from nataliaray.com and this is gonna be an AI copywriting for beginners tutorial where I'm gonna show you exactly how to write a Pinterest title and description using AI. This is gonna be interesting, let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, before I'm gonna show you my laptop and show you exactly how I generate a Pinterest description using AI, we need to talk about what actually makes a good Pinterest title and description, right? So in this case, this is actually taken from Pinterest's official kind of like text where they tell us exactly what they want. The place where I got this from, by the way, is a great Pinterest course that I'm just in the middle of right now. You can find it in thetireway.com forward slash Pinterest course. And this is actually what Pinterest tells us, determines how high will a pin rank for a specific keyword. And the way that they kind of like determine this, the number one thing is the pin's title and description. They have other things like title of the board that it's saved to, the summary of text of the landing page it links to, but the pin's title and description is the very first thing that Pinterest is looking at when it comes to ranking a specific pin for a specific keyword, right? Now the question stems, what makes a good pin description? Because we kind of already know what makes a good title, but what makes a good description? So from Pinterest's own kind of like um, instructions right here, I actually took three different bullets that we need to know in order to create a good Pinterest description. And in this case, it has to be rich in relevant keywords, no keyword stuffing, right? If you know any of the kind of like black hat, gray hat SEO performers out there, you know that they tend to simply take a bunch of different keywords and just stuff them in inside the description without any logic to it. So Pinterest actually tells us this is not a good idea. They tell us this here. And then the last thing is no fluff. Keep the description short and to the point. And we got this from all of Pinterest instructions in the official document that they released. So according to all of that, I'm gonna go right now into my AI copywriting tool and show you exactly how I create a description for Pinterest. The tool that I will be using for this demonstration is called Jasper. It is my favorite AI copywriting tool and you can try it out for free in natayaray.com forward slash AI. So with that being said, let's dive into my computer and let's create a Pinterest description using AI. Okay, so right now I'm inside the Jasper interface, inside the dashboard, and the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go on the left menu into templates and simply locate the template for Pinterest. In this case, it's actually one of my saved ones because we're investing a lot of time and a lot of resources right now in building up our Pinterest traffic. So I'm gonna click on Pinterest pin title and description here clear the inputs that I've had before and let's get started. So Jasper actually makes life easier for us because the only thing that I need to do is just to fill out the questions that it has for me and then it will just spit out a title and description according to those. So I've actually pre-made my prompts. So the pin um, tells, so as Jasper asks, tell us about the pin. So the first thing is that this is a recipe for a vegan burrito bowl. Um, the keywords that I wanna rank for are all of these and you only have a room for about 80 characters. So use them wisely. Um, the company and product name in this case is Burrito Mama. And the tone of voice will be motherly obviously. And then the last thing that is left for me to do is to simply click generate and it will only take Jasper a few seconds to give me quite a few options. So as you can see, option number one, pin title, the best vegan burrito bowl recipe. Clearly the keywords are here, best is here, which is a great word to use to increase the click-through rate on my pin. And the description is, this vegan burrito bowl is the best you'll ever had. Loaded with delicious veggies and topped with a creamy avocado sauce, it's perfect for a healthy weeknight meal, so easy to make, your whole family would love it. This is option one. Second option, the best vegan burrito bowl recipe. Um, this vegan burrito bowl is the best one I've had. It's easy to make and can customize it any way you like. Plus, it's great to use up left over veggies for your fridge, yada, yada, yada. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty simple. Last one is homemade burrito bowl recipe. If you're looking for a vegan burrito bowl recipe, this is the one for you. It's easy to make and it's packed with flavor. Plus it's healthy and heartly. Uh, perfect for any meal of the day. So as you can see, it only take you about two seconds to create this. You can put it inside your Pinterest and move on uh, to the rest of your day. And that's why I like AI. The thing is that you will notice that the outputs will change the more that you will learn to play with the prompts. So. 
the place where it says tell us about the pin this is where all the magic happens and if I'm gonna change a few things here you will notice that all of my outputs meaning the pin title and description suggestions that the AI has spit out will become completely completely different right if I'm gonna change my tone of voice it will become the outputs again will become completely completely different so my proposal is just play around with this a little bit until you will find your groove and the kind of descriptions that you like to use so hopefully this video has been helpful for you in understanding exactly how to write a Pinterest description using AI. If you would like to support this channel, simply please subscribe and hit like on this video. It helps me get the word out about these videos. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, yeah, bye.